Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we are going to write a PowerShell script that gathers system information. First, we are going to get the host name. From environment, computer name. Get the current username. Environments uh, username. Get OS architecture. Here we are uh, using uh, get WMI object. This is a PowerShell command that used to retrieve management information from local and remote computers. It allows you to query the Windows management instrumentation, WMI, which provides access to various system components. And for the Win32 underscore operating system, this is a WMI class that represents a window operating system. It contains properties related to the operating system, such as its version, build number, and architecture. And for the OS architecture, uh, this property of the Win32 operating system class indicates that the architecture of the operating system, it is typically written values such as 32-bit or 64-bit. And then we assign that value to our arc variable. And now we are going to get OS name with architecture. So OS name here combines the OS name and its architecture. Next, uh, get the domain name. Get the first enable IP address.
So the black IP address from Win32 network. Adapter configuration. where IP where IP enable set to true the Query parameter. Uh, this parameter allow us to specify a WMI query in structure query language SQL format. This query will retrieve specific data from WMI clause. So select IP address from Win32 network adapter configuration where IP enable is true. Uh, this is the WMI query being executed. It does the following select IP address Request the IP address property from the WMI clause from a winner 32 network uh, adapter configuration Specifies that the information should come from the win 32 network adapter configuration class Which contains information about the network adapters on the computer and where IP enable uh, uh, value set to true, filter the result to only include network adapters that have IP address enable. This means it will only return IP addresses for active network connections. So at the end, the IP address, this property contains an array of IP addresses associated with the network adapters over here that meet the curious uh, criteria an adapter could have multiple IP addresses especially if it is uh, configured for both IPv4 and IPv6 and the last part the index uh, uh, 0 this part access the first element of the IP address array. Since network adapters uh, can have multiple IP addresses, this index allows you to get the first one. If there are no unable IP addresses, this could lead to an error, which is something to be aware of. So we assign this uh, expression to our IP variable. And now at the end, we are just going to combine all the data into a final string and output the final data.
and now output the final data. And here is the output operating system, IP, architecture, host name, domain, username. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.